Jones in motion to the top of the screen. He's all by himself now. He's got one on one coverage. Throws a block in downfield. Clarcy is into the touchdown. End zone touchdown. Huskies. As they take a one point lead. In the Turner going for two. Looking. Yeah. Pressure coming. Watts on the pressure. He Smart. has to air it out, get it out of bounds. Smart. Smart. Great pressure. Yeah. Here he is right there. Okay. He's got so much space. Bennett surveying. Pressure coming again. Watts again with the pressure. That one incomplete. It was Eric Watts once again defensively putting the pressure on Jonathan Bennett. Watts has been great today. As the clock runs down. And for the first time since 2015, yeah. the Yukon Huskies yeah. are come. bowl eligible. Hey, here they come. I know. They're rushing the field right now. And they got the bucket. There's it's the, going right over Mora. Mora more tried to avoid it. <laughs> That's a big win. I would say enjoy it. He's not happy with it. Oh, there you go. You got to get the handshake. And you see the, the amount of success and coaching experience between these two coaches and Hugh Freeze and Jim Mora. And this is the first win for the Huskies versus an AP ranked opponent since they beat number 13, Houston, 20 to 17 in 2015. You want to know the wild thing? No, it was a three point win in 2015, and it's a three point win here today. This, to me, is the revolution that Jim Moore There's was talking about. There's the field storm this we were waiting the, this for. This is the revolution he's been talking about. The fa the, this is a basketball school. He wants to get some respect. He wants it to be a football school also. Well, if you want that to happen, these are the type of wins you need to have. A ranked team coming in, just beating an SEC team, only one loss, beating Power 5 schools left and right. Once again, a 36-33 win for UConn here for Christian Fourier, Justin Walters, and our entire crew. I'm Megan McPeak. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour ho home of CBS Sports. Let's send it to Colorado Springs for New Mexico at Air Force. So long from East Hartford.